Hi everybody, here's your one minute guide on how to take care of your horn. Maybe it'll be two. You want to make sure that your horn is running just like a car would need to be running well. It needs oil and there are a few different places that you need to put oil. Your French horn kit should come with one or two different kinds of oil. If it's just one, don't worry, just use that one. If it's two, you're going to use the thicker oil under these caps and the thinner oil inside the French horn. So there are a few places to oil your horn. If you could take off your caps here, see those circles? Those come right off. Screw them off, put a couple drops of that oil, just a couple right on there. Give that a wiggle and screw this back on. You can also put some oil down into the valves. So for each one you pull out, you're gonna hold that finger down. So if I'm pulling out that first valve, pull that up, okay? Put that down somewhere safe. You're going to hold the horn straight up and down, and then you're going to take your oil and you're just gonna drop a few drops in there on each side and give it a wiggle. When you go to put these back in, you'll also notice that you have some slide grease. And that can be put just a little bit right on there so that when this slides back in, that it goes in nice and smoothly. I recommend that you don't take them all out at once so that you remember where they all go. Keep it nice and gentle when you put it back in. You can also put a few drops of oil on the very back. See here where you have these bumpers? Those can be oiled regularly. Give them a few drops on either side. Okay, and again, give them a wiggle and that's gonna help them working. Also, you're going to want to put some oil on these slides on the back, which are your tuning slides. You may have one and you may have two, but they're gonna help you because you're going to use those sometimes to get the water out of the French horn. So there's a few ways to get the water out. The first way that you can do, which is probably kind of the most straightforward way, is to get the first water in the tuning slide. So follow the direction of the horn all the way around and you'll see that it comes up to this bad boy here. So what we can do, if you can see, we're going to pull it out. Okay, you don't need to put any valves down for this one. Put that tuning slide down and you're going to give it a turn and you can dump the water out. There might be some water that's gonna come out of there. Don't worry, it's mostly condensation, but if you hear that weird cackling sound when you're playing, that's what that is. Not a big deal, it happens to everybody. You might find some in the other one as well, if you have two. You might also have a French horn that has what's called, and this sounds really gross, but a spit valve. Mine is this tiny little dot here, but others have more of a lever that kind of looks like the thumb. If you touch it and press it down, give it a little blow. Any water that might be in there is going to come out. Now there is another place where a lot of water gets stuck and it's a really good trick to know. Put all your fingers down, including the thumb. You're going to turn the horn so the bell is up in the air. Then you're going to let go of your first and second valves and you're just going to have your thumb and your third valve down and you're going to turn it back so the bell is facing down. Now, our third valve on the underside, that B flat side, we're going to try and pull out and you may have to pull out both of your third valves to get to this one because that one is pretty hard to get in there. But any of the water in all of those tubes, all of these here will have traveled to this one from what you did. So you can go ahead and dump it out. Keep your thumb and third valve down and pop it back in. Otherwise you'll get this weird popping sound and it's not great for the French horn. That's going to get most of your water out. If it's still stuck and you have no idea where it is, just start spinning the horn in a clockwise direction. Sounds pretty gross, but eventually it's gonna come out of the end of the bell. And you know what? I'd rather have it out of the end of the bell than gurgling all over me. Sometimes you might just wanna bring a cloth so that you can wipe it down or a drop cloth to put on the ground so that you don't make a total mess.